Hi, I am Sherry Rita from WellMed Public Library, and I am here this summer to share with you some stories from around the world. All of these stories belong to all of us because everyone who's here in this country is here from somewhere else. Either people came from across Asia, down the Bering Strait, and along the coast in search of better hunting and fishing, or people came exploring from across the Atlantic Ocean or across the North Sea, or people came in, again in search of better hunting or fishing, or maybe even against their will from the islands to the south and east or from Africa. All of these people who came, no matter how they came, brought stories. And these stories help us understand one another and they help us know how to live our lives. The story I'm going to share with you today is a Jataka tale. It's uh, about a very special man. His name was Heart of Gold. See, once a long, long time ago, there was a man who was so incredibly wealthy that his stuff filled up his attics and filled up his basement and poured out of his house and onto the sidewalks and into the lawns and out onto the street. This man had one really favorite thing to do. His favorite thing? was to give it all away. <laughs> Every day, he would fill up baskets with clothing and food and books, and he would bring the baskets out onto the street, and he would give them away to anyone who wanted them. And, and he would never refuse a request. So if somebody also wanted some jewelry, they got it. If somebody wanted a chariot, he gave it away. If somebody wanted instruments, he gave them music to play. Even if somebody wanted his fine horses, they got them. He never turned anyone down. And over time, he became famous for his generosity, and he was known as Heart of Gold. His fame reached all the way to the heavens where lived these devas, these shiny, sparkly people who watched over humans. Now, Chakra, the king of the devas, he wasn't convinced. He said, you know, he's generous, all right, but he's got a lot of stuff. He doesn't miss anything. He decided to make a test. So one night, Heart of Gold went to bed, and he woke up in the morning, and all of his instruments and jewelry were gone. He looked around and he said, well, somebody must have needed to make music. And then he filled up his baskets with clothing and food and books and he brought them out onto the street and he gave them away. The next day he woke up and his fabrics had all shrunk and his clothes were gone and his carpets were gone and he hardly noticed Heart of Gold hardly noticed. He just filled his baskets with what he had, and he gave it away. So the third day, he woke up, and his mansion was empty. The storerooms, the, the attic, the basement. There was nothing there but a, a single piece of rope and a sickle for harvesting crops. Heart of Gold looked around and he said, wow, it's like a wind blew through and took away everything. I hope whoever took this really needed it because there are a lot of people who are going to be disappointed. And he thought about the people who are going to be disappointed and he said, you know, I'm going to go out and see what I can do to make some money to give away to them. So he took the rope and he tied it around his waist like a belt and made his nightshirt look a little bit like an outfit. And he took up the sickle and he went out to the fields and he worked alongside the other villagers in the hot, hot sun. And he thought, oh, the poor have it worse than I thought. This is really hard work. 
And then at the end of the day, they get a few coins. If they have a big family, it's not even enough to feed their children. Then they have to go out and beg. And if they're poor, they have to beg for help to get well again. And so every day, the cart of gold took his pay and it made into lots of little coins and he gave it away. Year after year after year, he gave it away. Shacker wasn't entirely convinced. He said, I have one more test. And he went down in person to talk to Heart of Gold. And he said, silly, silly human, what do you think you're doing? Working every day and giving it all away. Why don't you save your money? Why don't you save your wealth? Give it to your family, your extended family. Save it for when you're rich and then you can give everything away like you did before. An article said, everybody is my family. We're all humans here together. And in another circumstance, that old lady on the corner could have been my mother. And he said, I have to give it away now. How can I wait when this man is hungry? How can I tell him to wait until I'm rich? And besides, he said, charity is all I've got. It makes me happy and it helps other people. No, Chakra, he said. I'm sorry, but I have to give it away. And at last, Chakra was convinced. Here was a truly generous man. And so Chakra did something he had never done before. He apologized. He said, heart of gold, I'm the one who took away your stuff. But you are truly a generous man and you shall have it all back and you shall give it away for the rest of your life. And he restored all of heart of gold's precious goods. And heart of gold went back to his mansion like usual filled up baskets every day and gave his goods away, knowing that in giving things away, he was able to give the one thing that always returned, happiness. I love that story. I hope you do too. I'll be back next week with another story from another place. Okay, until then, goodbye summer reading kids.